Hey everyone, Silicat2 here. Welcome back for more Lana Lana. I found out where you can get flares. They're in fact. <laughs> uh, that way, way to start an episode. <laughs> Falling into a pit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is stupid. This pot right here, ten flares, and they respawn every time you reload the game. Okay. Now with that said, then we can finally get the thing that I've been talking about this whole time. You get it by using the birth seal on this thing here, and then equipping yourself with the flare gun, and attacking the bug things up top. That gets you across! That protects you from these red and blue things that are flying around you. They don't even hit you. See? Of course, you can still kill them for experience if you want, but eh, whatever. Oh, well, that's said and done. Lol. Dull. I really should be using my uh, sub weapons more, but eh. You know, it's just an eh thing. Eh. Alright, now we've done all that, it is time. Uh, finally, fine. Finally, time to get a move on in this game. This is stupid. <sighs> You die. I'm gonna push this block all the way over here. And that gets you access to one of the most frustrating areas in the whole game. Confusion Gate. This is the backside equivalent of the Guidance Gate. And the music is kinda creepy, I gotta say. <laughs> First order of business is getting a couple of the ROMs in the area. And some other various doodad treasures, knickknacks, stuff like that. With this part of the wall, scan the alcove, you get salamander. I don't think that ROM does anything, I might be wrong. Next order of business is passing in front of all of these open treasure chests. That'll get us the map for this region. I don't think any of these three treasure chests do anything. Uh, I might be wrong, but... Well, I've never seen them do anything. But, Silly Cat too, you might ask. There's no ladders to the third and fourth and fifth floors of this place. Well, that is because this is the traditional guide dang it puzzle area place. Thou will not find a way by just wandering. Courage to leap into the confusion will grant thy wish. <coughs> so, yeah, we gotta have the Triforce of Courage before coming here. <laughs> yeah, kidding. Alright, so let's check out these doors. A fool thought he was wise because he was a fool. Small-minded, he went right. A fool was wise but thought he was a fool and thus was. Self-deprecating, he went left. There is only one true path. May ye be truly wise. Well, we want to go this way first because there is a thing here that is waiting for us. It is a one-time only thing, so don't think you can just come back here and have it respawn. It is 100 coins. Now I pick that up. Oh, 
what is the one true path, there is actually an invisible ladder right here that you can climb. He who just waits is a true fool. Ye have done well in understanding. Art thou wise or a fool? Only thy actions will tell. I pray that thou art truly wise. Scan this eye for Qbert. Qbert is one of the most important ROMs in the game. Because combined with Diviner Sensation, it will let you summon fairies that hold keys. Keys can unlock certain treasure chests and doors throughout the area. That's the map there. Alright, next order of business. The TELEPORT MAZE! Just walking into some places in this area will teleport you to other places in this area. It's very confusing. Once you're down here, be sure to walk to the right instead of the left. Again, you need to be truly wise, that is, have a strategy guy. <laughs> or just let's play, I guess, if you're using me over deceased crab for whatever reason. Anyway, place. Eh? Who are you? Good timing, though. Can I ask you for a favor? If you don't want to do it, you can get out. Right, so you see, this mischievous pixie hid my precious treasure. Before she disappeared, she left this pepper behind and sang this ridiculous song. Six angels whispered at the inviting guardian swallowed the treasure. How will you get it back? What will happen if you do? If you get back the treasure, I'll give you 500 coins. <laughs> Ugh, looks like a pepper got in my nose. Here, take it. Go and find my treasure. Six angels and an inviting guardian. Huh. Hello there, Logon. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That looks like six angels to me, and there's a guardian here. That the face thingy. Just take the pepper in front of his nose and he sneezes and you get the treasure. Now let's return to Confusion Gate. Okay, here we are back in the Confusion Gate. And our first order of business is picking up that map. You know what, though? I love the riddles in this area. They're just so cool, you know? Anyway, there's a the map. Uh, this place is about the same size as the Guidance Gate, I guess. There's some stuff o over in the corner that we are currently on our way to do. Oh, wait. Let's go, mate! So, when I was talking about this game with a friend of mine, he's like eight or nine years old, maybe, uh, he was worried that his parents wouldn't let, them, let him play the game because I said there was blood in one part of it. Turns out this is the part of the game where there's blood, but it's like, not really used in a, well, I don't know, it sort of is used in a gory, creepy way, but not in the way that you'd expect. We never scanned this, did we? Fools will continue to be lost. It doesn't help that it's so easy to lose your way because Lamisa's clothes uh, blend into the background and stuff, but whatever. Is this? It's all wet with drool! You got my precious treasure all covered in slobber! This junk is all you get! Now get out of my sight! He gave us the anchor! It's right there next to the serpent staff. The anchor lets us sink faster into water. As you can see, there's a uh, propeller thingy 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 down there. And the I hate this platform. 
There we go. <laughs> it's so crazy. I do. There we go. Anyway, we just kind of like jump in from the top and voila! Or as Russ once said, Viola, we are here. Now, as you can see, there is a weird elevator thing that pushes us over here no matter how hard we try to get to that ladder. You fool, judging things only from what thou sees. Wonder this labyrinth forever! <laughs> so what do we do? We do that, and it slows the elevator down. Seriously, who ever heard of an elevator that goes sideways? That's like a wonk evader or something, I don't know. Now, as for this thing... You see we have six uh, pedestals and a tablet. This is one of those ordering riddles that Rao Cow is apparently very good at. Many daisies are left of the first. Many daisies are right of the next. These two are not next together. That will pass the first days when going from the fourth to the fifth. The fourth is not at the edge, but the last is. So... Uh, yeah, I... I'd try to solve it, but it's like, uh... I don't know. We're kind of pressed for time and stuff, so... No, we're gonna save it for later. Or we're just... I'm just gonna solve it for you. <laughs> but yeah, it's an ordering riddle. First of all, let's get back to where we were. That's probably a very annoying voice to be singing this. What the heck? Okay, I guess you're gonna get stuck on the ladder under that thing. Okay, go away, kangaroos. Anyway, pedestal on the skeleton. Uh. Oh, pfft, duh. <laughs> anyway. Whoops, that is the wrong one! <laughs> <laughs> uh. There we go, that solved it. Alright, now we have to go all the way back to the place. Kind of low on health there, but our experience is lost full, so whatever, you know. That makes a new ladder here. We uh, break that wall, and then break this wall with the knife. Push this block down and push it over so we can get on the left. Ye who still has life, there is still time. Turn back. The confusion continues. 
Not for all that long, it doesn't. This room will come into play later. Alright, down here are some things we can buy. F1 Spirit and F1 Spirit 3D. Combining F1 Spirit 3D with Contra will give you the, uh, you die in one hit effect. As for this place, you want to combine Qbert with... Where's Qbert? Didn't I pick up Qbert? Oh, <laughs> I am an idiot. Come on, Hubert with Diviner Sensation summons a fairy with a key. Ugh. I fail so much at this. Anyway. Knife. Uh, I guess we can't get that yet. Alright, whatever. Whoops. You have done well making it this far, wise one. Break through a final confusion. These are actually push blocks. Man, that puts a ladder here. Awesome. Health refill. And opens up the path here. What's this? Eleven children guard Tiamat's chamber. The grail is powerless therein. Oops. Yeah, the fairy just dies on us. That's fine. This is the confusion gate. The path will open to the wise. Become small. Only the tiny should proceed onward. There's a guy there. <clears throat> yeah, after you uh, pick up the... I am an idiot! After you uh, solve those puzzles and read the tablet that tells you to become small, Oh, 
I guess you have to talk to this guy because the door opens up. It would help if I would stop running into bats. Thou wishes to become small? Thou art small already. I shall give thee a minute doll. Prove thou art small. Now we go to the giant's mausoleum. And then back to the confusion gate. Now that we've gone to the giant's mausoleum, hello there lady falling into a pit, this uh, barricade disappears. Now I can get through here. We want the axe and shurikens ready. What's this say? Woe to ye, he who is not listen, ignoring the advice of others. So overconfident is thy abilities, thou art a fool to come this far. Death to the fool. Okay. Yeah, the blood from those maidens heals this guy. It's kind of creepy. But when you kill him, the pit closes up, people stop falling in like idiots, and... We are rewarded with text to read. <laughs> is the one reading this tablet wise or fool? I pray it is one that has wisdom. This is a new area. It doesn't really impact us quite yet, but there's something I want to get here. You can actually enter this place from another place. Uh, you might remember the similar symbol in the graveyard of the giants. It goes over here. There's just one thing I want to get here before we head back to the confusion gate. We can activate the waypoint here. What the heck? This is the Tower of Ruin. It is the remains of an unfulfilled ruin journey. This is the backside equivalent of level 5. But again, I just want to get one thing before going. I want to shuriken this guy so he doesn't get in our way too much. And pick up the Ruins Ram 16K sitting on top of this crate. While we're at it, we can go down here, I guess. There might be stuff here. We are back in Confusion Gate, and killing that one mini boss gave us this the endless key. Now we can uh, go places in the endless corridor. But before we do that, one last thing that I want to get that tablet just tells you what the endless key does. But of more importance to us is this the door to that final part of the uh, guidance gate. Stepping on that switch disables the trap down by a treasure chest and activates the ladder so we can get back to the confusion gate very easily.
Now we just get knocked around by enemies. Playing the Game Master 2. This gives us four additional save slots. As you can see. The Game Master the Game Master 1 gives you slaves at save slot 0. Just keep that in mind. <sighs> we did a lot in this episode, didn't we? Took us almost 30 minutes, but that's fine, I guess. Long episodes are a good thing sometimes. See you guys later.